The Ghana Interbank Payment and Settlement Systems Limited GIPS is a wholly owned subsidiary of the Bank of Ghana. It was incorporated in May 2007 with a mandate to implement and manage interoperable payment system infrastructure for banks and non-bank financial institutions in Ghana. In line with its mandate, GIPS has implemented and currently manages the National Switch and Biometric Smart Card Payment System, eSwitch, Check Code Line Clearing CCC System, Ghana Automated Clearing House Systems, Direct Credit and Direct Debit, and the National Switching and Processing System, GHLink. But in May 2018, the system was fully launched, allowing customers to be able to make transactions or pay for goods and services through electronic medium without the use of checks or cash. Following its launch, it recorded about 100,000 transactions in the first few weeks and by the end of the same year, money transfers done was about 2.2 million. However, over the past two years, the electronic payment system has helped deepen financial inclusion to promote cashless transactions in the country. As part of its benefits, the mobile money interoperability has created an atmosphere of convenience, security and fast transfer of money. In its latest release for 2020, Gibbs indicates that the total volume of transactions spanning January to June 2020 stood at over 29 million compared to about 16 million transactions for the same period in 2019. It also stated that specific channels such as GIPS Instant Pay, GIP, saw a huge growth of almost 600%, while mobile money interoperability grew by over 444% in the first half of this year. In an interview with City Business News, CEO of GIPS, Achihesi, said the increase is driven mainly by transfers from account to wallet, which represented 86% of GIP transfers. There's been a significant increase in the GIP, that is the GIPS Instant Pay uh, service. Um, if you remember when we started somewhere around 2013, um, the GIPS Instant Pay allows individuals or corporates to move funds from one bank account to another instantly. Um, as a result of mobile money interoperability, we have added more services to it. I'm talking about the ability to move funds now from your bank account into a wallet and thirdly from a bank account into uh, an e-switch uh, wallet. Um, the convenience of moving funds seamlessly between the three platforms, I believe is what has accounted uh, for the significant increase. However, the transactions captured in the GIPS product performance report, which include electronic clearing of checks, automated clearing house, e-switch and GHLink suffered varying levels of decline in transaction volumes. Various processes involved and there are various, uh, what do you call it, uh, products and services. And I, I gave a, a figure that uh, I, I believe we are somewhere between the range of around 60 uh, odd percent there when it comes to digitizing payments. Uh, digitizing transfers of funds, we are more than that. But when it comes to payment, we are not there. Uh, I'm looking forward to the stage where, as a country, by next year, December, when the QR code is the in thing, you go to anywhere you are likely to shop at, you see a QR code there, and you can actually make payments electronically. He adds that the country is making steady progress towards becoming cash light society as about 60% of all financial transactions were initiated and completed on the various electronic platforms in use.